You know what? I did not get a chance to cut their cake. <laughs> We're gonna steal their cake and turn it into a birthday cake because I'm not playing from their point of view anymore So they can't cut the wedding cake. So just pretend that they did it'll be fine Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the royal family in the last episode of the royal family We had a little toddler play date with the royal toddlers of Windenburg Prince Charles Princess Bellatrix and Princess Diana and they got to have their little play date with Lord J of Oasis Springs and Lord Maxwell Which is Queen Evangeline's nephew So they had a little fun and got to hang out and get to know each other and then we also had Queen Nea of Oasis Springs We had her birthday party and she turned into a young adult at her birthday party her boyfriend Earl Philip proposed to her in front of everybody and she said yes So now they're engaged and they're super super cute guys I love them so so much in this episode We are going to have our royal wedding of Willow Creek before the wedding We're going to do a little pre-wedding dinner with Prince Louis and Lady Corinne's family So they're gonna get to know each other a little better before the wedding So if you're looking forward to this episode give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and let's go ahead and play the royal family Okay, so we are starting at the royal family of Willow Creek's house, and I actually have Lady Corinne already living with them, so she is living here, and she, as I mean, I really needed her to be the one to invite her family over, because I don't think ever, anyone in her family really knows, like, all of her family members, because she does come from a big family. She comes from four siblings, so they do have a big family, so I am going to have her plan the social event and invite her her parents and her siblings over so you guys will get to meet them as well oh my gosh guys though her sister marjorie you guys will see her in a bit too she was getting this weird glitch thing erin if you're watching it was that like glowing glitch thing where it's like the patches of glowing skin where they look like an alien it was so freaky so i had to like remove all her custom content and like she seems to be fine now but Hopefully that does not happen to anybody else because it is very terrifying. So I am not going to make it a gold event. We're just going to do a dinner party. So they are all going to be the hosts and then all of her family. So Lady Marjorie is her sister. Duke Victor is her father. Duchess Lily is her mother. Lord Nathaniel is her little brother who just turned into a child. And then Lord White is her older brother. So we're going to invite all of them. And then we can, yeah, let's get a caterer too. So we can have a caterer. And then we're going to do this at the royal family of Willow Creek's residence. Okay, I'm so excited. I am also so excited, you guys, for you guys to see the wedding venue that we have too. Because I finally finished tried kind of like messing with it today and, and furnishing it and everything too. Oh, and it looks like Lady Aria is here too. So Lady Aria is Prince Jack's girlfriend. So I guess they were hanging out a little bit before we started having this dinner party. Also, you guys can see too, I uh, started doing, I finally started doing the portraits for, I, I finished the one for King Edmund. I have not done the one for Queen Cora yet. So I need to do that because I had no idea that it was still King Edmund's parents that were like still had their portraits up so i need to change that oh queen cora is she painting again or something she just painted whoa guys that's actually pretty good queen cora is pretty good at this we're gonna sell this though because i don't have much use for that i don't know why the apple is like directly in front of the dog's face okay so we have so we need to have everyone just kind of oh uh, yes we want to sell um sweetie you're kind of walking in the wall and i don't know what's going on okay there you go you're better now the polite introduction so we're going to introduce ourselves to everyone i don't even think that prince louis has met all the siblings yet i think he's met her parents but i don't think he's met all of her siblings yet okay so yes it looks like king edmund already knows her parents both of of Lady Corinne's parents because we did have them. Did we have? I don't remember if we had her parents over for dinner. I know we've had Lady Corinne over for dinner. I thought we had her parents over for dinner. I don't think her siblings were there though. But it looks like Princess Belle, like all of Prince Louis' siblings, Prince Jack and Princess Belle, they didn't. I don't. Oh, I guess they do know them. Oh, I think she like just introduced themselves to them. So I. Oh no, she doesn't know them. Okay, so I don't know if they just like 
forget who they are because I don't know if that happens to you guys, but my Sims will like not know someone anymore who I've definitely introduced to before. So I don't know why that happens. I don't know if you like don't talk to them for a while, that just happens or something, but it was very, very strange. So that has happened before, but I do know that King uh, Edmund and Queen Cora, they do like her parents a lot. So now it's nice that they're actually also meeting her siblings and everyone too. So it looks like, oh, I want to show you guys her sister, Lady Marjorie. It looks like she's over here talking to Prince Louis and, and Queen Cora. So this is Lady Marjorie. So she is a super, she's a very like laid back. Like I feel like Lady Corinne's a little bit more girly, a little bit more proper. And Lady Marjorie is a little bit more tomboyish. She's very athletic. That's her aspiration is, uh, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's like to be athletic or something like that. Um, so she's very athletic and I feel like she's probably going to end up pursuing like a sports career or something like that. So that's her. And then her youngest brother is right here. This is Lord Nathaniel. So he just turned into a child. He was, he had, was a toddler for a while. So he's much younger than his older brother, Lord Wyatt, but he's very sweet too. So I don't think they really know him very well. So I definitely want to make sure the siblings all introduce themselves to him too and then is our food ready because i do want to have people sitting down it looks like they're still making the food oh lord wyatt is just like over here i think princess oh no princess bell doesn't know him lord wyatt is a young adult i don't think he's romantically involved with anyone at the moment there are a lot of young adult males and not many young adult females at all i think most of them are like teenagers so that like a lot of young adult males are, are still single so when the young adult females or when the teenager females, when they grow up, I'll probably have them like marry some people. Some people might not get married, but I, and I appreciate, I know when I mentioned this in the past that someone had kind of added some royals to the gallery for me to download. I don't think I'm going to download any royals to the gal or to this game from the gallery. I am mostly saving that for like my legacy challenge videos and that series. Um, and then like maybe the dynasty series too, but it's just easier for me to have characters that I've already thought about because I'm more familiar with their background story. It's a little harder for me to like add other Sims that I don't like really know if that makes sense. So hopefully that's okay. But I think you guys, will still end up liking them anyway because I also and I mentioned this in the last video I posted not the episode of the royal family but the create a sim makeover of the like royal wedding create a sim makeover for Prince Louis and Lady Corinne so I am probably going to be posting like lots and lots of royal family episodes in the next few weeks because I have something planned for the hundredth episode of the royal family and I'm just like so excited to post that so I'm probably just going to like try to get as close to a hundred as possible like as fast as possible so just so you guys know that um well is dinner ready because i think we can probably start oh wait why their caterer is putting unfinished food at our dinner table and that's not that's not what this is for did they even do like a finished meal or anything because that's not what the the table's for. I should probably have, well, I think it's fine if we don't set the table. It doesn't need to be set. I don't have any teenagers. Like they're all young adults. I usually only set the table to get like the child to get more manners. So since we don't have any children, I'm not going to do that, but it's okay. It looks like Prince Jack is entertaining all of Lady Corinne's siblings by playing a game of Don't Wake the Llama. That's really cute. And then it looks, oh, oh, okay. I guess we're, <laughs> We're eating hamburger cake and fish and chips. So it looks like we need to go sit down. So I'm going to have them all stop the game for now and join in. Although we don't even have enough seats, guys. I never realized that. Oh, this dining room isn't big enough, you guys. <gasps> I never realized that. Oh, shoot. Well, we don't, we clearly don't have that many dinner parties here. So I definitely need to expand this and like, yeah, because I think the room in general is just too small. I need to make it like a more grand dining room, probably like move the bathroom somewhere else, maybe. Uh, oh, wait, no, we have a bathroom right here. Why don't we just do that? Yeah, I'm probably just going to like knock this wall down and like move this and like make this the entire dining room. So I'll probably do that later on. I do like the Willow Creek Castle. I don't actually have a problem with because I was mentioning before that like the Oasis Springs Palace and the Windenburg Palace I didn't love too much but Willow Creek Castle I don't mind it definitely looks just like a mansion more than anything I think I think the fact that the outside of it is like cobblestone that makes it look a little bit less fancy um so I guess we could probably do a little bit of renovations to it but I don't think that's really necessary at the moment so we can definitely wait to do that and then I also realize oh oh okay there's a cake here 
Um, I think I need to make the cake now because I didn't put a kitchen at the wedding venue. Um, and you know what? I should probably do that though because I know that like the caterer, like we might hire a caterer or something like that. Although I wanted like one of those tiered cakes. So I already made a cake, but I want like the tier cake and I don't know what cooking level they have to be at to make that cake. Can I just... I think I'm just gonna use a cheat to like make her cooking level higher. Okay, I set her cooking level to 10. And is there a tiered white cake that she can cook on here now? What? I swear that's a thing. Oh, okay, that's fine, I guess. Well, I'm just going to cook a backup cake because I know that things tend to happen. So I'm just gonna have her make a backup cake. I thought, I've, I've definitely seen a tiered cake as an option to make before. Is it is undercook? Oh, guys, oh, it's undercook a gourmet meal. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, well, oh my gosh, yay, I can do a tiered cake, I'm so excited. Well, she's gonna be cooking several cakes, so that's fine, because we're probably gonna have a lot of people attend the wedding. Um, Actually, now that uh, I have Prince Kellen, you know, no, not Prince Kellen, oh my gosh, now that I have Prince uh, Louis, now that he knows everybody, I'm going to have him plan the wedding now. It's not going to be now, but it'll probably be like in the morning time. So we're going to have the guests. So you guys all know the guests, you'll see them at the wedding. So I'm gonna skip through this. Okay, I realized, so this is the venue. I realized that it's under generic and I hope it still works. Hopefully, um, I don't know. I feel like I've had a problem in the past where it didn't work when it was on generic. So I'm just gonna kind of hope for the best. Hopefully it works. Okay, um, so, and the good thing is too, it's gonna be cloudy, it's not like rainy or anything like that. I mean, it's inside and you guys can see just from that picture how gorgeous this wedding venue is going to be. So I'm so, so excited for this too. So I did invite Princess Amira and Prince Johan. So we're gonna go see if they show up with them. Uh, well, when we see, well, hopefully they're there, but I'll explain their situation at the wedding. Um, so now it's summer guys, which is really, really cool. Um, and then it looks like Princess Belle is still wearing her morning dress. So I know she was very, very close to Princess May. Like they were all very close to Princess May because they're all related to her, but she like, that was like one of her best friends for sure. So that's definitely not, not the best thing in the world, but I think she'll be okay. She's a very positive and just sweet person in general. So I think she'll be fine. Fine. Uh, and then I don't know what our caterer is doing, but he's doing some stuff too. But the wedding. Oh, oh, I really hope. Oh, I just realized this. I really hope Queen Cora can finish that cake before the wedding starts. The wedding doesn't start till 10. So I, I mean, I'm assuming because that would take a really long time to make a cake if she didn't cook it by 10 a.m. So hopefully it's okay. Um, but I, I do realize too, I want to turn this more into like a little ballroom area. I have the thrones here, but I feel like I need to just add like a dance floor and stuff in here too. It's just a very dark room I'm realizing now too. So I'm probably just going to change that soon. But guys, I'm so excited for their royal wedding. I am debating, I think I am going to do the royal wedding of Oasis Springs in the next episode. I was just debating because I didn't want it to be like wedding after wedding after wedding, but I think it's going to be a while before we have the royal wedding of, of Windenburg and Brindleton Bay and Sulani. So I think it'll be spaced out a little bit. So you guys will get two weddings in a row. I am not immediately going to have Lady Corinne and Prince Louis try for a baby right after the wedding. I think I'm gonna have them try it in the next episode. And then I think I'm gonna have Queen Nea and Earl Philip try for a baby in uh, like right after their wedding. Cause I want the babies to be the same age because like Prince Princess Amir wasn't that much older than everyone else, but she was older than everyone else. So I kind of want like at least the first few babies to all be around the same age. So I don't have anyone like completely much older than everybody else. So that's just my reasoning for that. But yeah, guys. Okay. So I, it, I, I'm i really glad too that Queen Cora gets along with, I wore, I mean, Queen Cora and King. Oh wait, no. Did you eat that wedding cake, Queen Cora? <gasps> oh my God. Did you wait, wait, where's the cake? Oh, she took one of the cakes out of her inventory. Oh. Oh my, I guess I probably should have put the cake topper on first. Well, okay, well now I know that for the future. But she didn't cook the, the cake that she was supposed to, and now she only has two hours to do it. So bake a gourmet meal and bake one of the, bake the cake. Oh no, 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 now now that, that uh, what's, what's, what's its name? The caterer is using that one. So I need to have her bake a gourmet meal. You guys, I don't think she's going to finish it in time. We, we have the wedding at 10 and it's, it doesn't look like she's anywhere near done. Oh, shoot. Well, I will put a, a kitchen 
in the at the wedding venue for them to be able to cook because I really want the really nice tiered cake because it's really pretty. Oh, Prince Francisco! Oh, okay, so he's supposed to be turning into a young adult too. That might actually end up happening for at, in the next episode. I don't think we're gonna do it in this episode, so we'll, we'll do that later. Oh gosh, guys, she, nope, she did not finish. Well, the wedding's about to begin, so let's go ahead and start, and then I'll just put a kitchen at the royal wedding venue, but I'm so excited for you guys to see this, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be so fun, and it's so pretty too. Okay, so I had to change this to a park, but hopefully it still works. But guys, look how beautiful it is. When I originally downloaded this from the gallery, it was on a, it was a 64 by 64 lot. So like some of this is like cut off a little bit and like, oh my God, go, it's like amazing. But okay, this tree bothers me. Like, I wish you could just see it from here, but you can't, which is really irritating. So that part bothers me a little bit, but I couldn't like, 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 uh, what's it called? Rotate it because then it would be like, there's trees on all sides of this thing, which does not help at all. Anyway, yeah, this is really cool. It'd probably help if I move this back a little bit, but it's fine. I'm gonna apologize now to you guys because this is very empty and I did very minimal work on the inside of it. Like, like just ignore this part. This is where the ceremony is gonna be. And then this is where the reception area is going to be. So sorry about that. I did not realize though, this is just here. Like this is definitely something they added after seasons and they just placed it randomly, which I feel like is little strange. I feel like that ruins things a little bit, but we'll just ignore them. So anyway, I think we're going to have like all future royal weddings, at least for the heirs here. And I will definitely have it more developed by then, but I definitely want to keep this because I started making the town more like, like French inspired. So I definitely think I'm going to keep this for now, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. So, okay. I had Queen Cora baking the cake. Did what happened to the cake? Okay. I'm having her cook another cake. So it should be fine. This should be fine. It should work. It's okay. Okay, so who do we have here? We have Lady Helena who seems a little bit down. Oh, no, no, no. She's smiling. I think she's okay. But we have, oh, this is what her sister wore. Her sister's definitely not a formal person. And then this is, is this her formal outfit? Because I'm not the biggest fan of this either. I feel like this is not her formal outfit. I think we should, ch yeah, okay. This is her formal outfit. That's, that's a little, she was wearing like her everyday outfit before. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I didn't realize her mother had like a ton of pet suits also, but that's very, very interesting. I probably should have picked something else for her everyday outfit because I don't love what she's wearing now, but I think it should be okay. Um, so then, oh, who is this? Oh, Prince Kellen. Okay. Prince Kellen's here. I'm realizing too, Prince Kellen's crown is the same crown that King Edmund is wearing. So I'm probably going to change that eventually. I've had so much trouble finding a crown for him. So Hopefully I'll be able to find something soon. I'm realizing that I like just don't have that many male crowns. So hopefully I'll be able to find something. I have like a ton, but it's just mostly female crowns. Um, but everyone seems to be just standing here. Oh, I need to check on that cake. I think it's almost done. So as soon as this cake is done, then I will have the royal wedding ceremony, which I'm so, so excited to do. Oh my God, guys, I literally like moved the cake and then suddenly it became uncut. I, you know what? Wait, who has the other cake? Because I'm just, we're gonna, we're just gonna use that one. Oh my gosh, that was irritating. All right, well, now we have our cake. So now we're gonna go to the ceremony. Okay guys, we're starting the wedding. I really hope people sit down. But we have Lady Corinne walking down the aisle. This is so cute and her brother's right there too, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, they're all getting married. I really hope people like come join and come watch, but like hopefully not block everything. Okay guys, they're getting married. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so beautiful too. And I love her wedding dress. I love both of the outfits that we ended up going with them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I, and I'm so glad I found like a veil too, cause I had not found one before this. So the veil is really cute. Her earrings are really cute. Like the blue that go with it because the blue is the Royal family of Willow Creek's colors. So this is so pretty and I'm so excited for them to become the king and queen. Probably won't be for a while unless there's like an unexpected death or something, but I don't think it's going to be for a while because they, I mean like his parents, the king and queen, they are not even elders yet. So we still have a good amount of time, but yay guys, I think they're married now. <gasps> yay. Oh, they're looking out at everyone too. I think everyone, yeah, everyone did finally decide to join us. So that's good. And they're like dancing too, which is a little bit strange, I gotta say, but oh guys, this is so pretty pretty. I love this so much. You guys can see I put like all these candles and flower petals on the floor too. So I am so, so excited you guys. Okay. So now they are officially, officially married. I'm so, so excited. So I'm just going to, oh no. All right. Never mind. He's leaving. All right. I guess we're done here. Um, so I'm going to 
have us go ahead and start the reception. So we got to have some food. So just serve all the food. And then we need to turn on these fountains too. So let's fill one with cheese. And let's fill the other one. Why can't we fill it with this? Oh, you need to have a mixology skill to do that. Okay, that seems a little strange. Um, okay, so she is now in, they're married. I almost said engaged, but nope, they're married now. Oh, and this is Lady, or Princess Megan and Queen Naya, they were hugging. So I did get some people say to that, I had one person say that they think that Kellen should break up with Princess May because they don't think that they're right for each other. And then I had someone else say that they don't think they should break up. So it's like a 50-50 at this point. Um, I personally think, I think they are going to break up, but it, it could just be for a little bit while Kellen just like figures out who he is. They could come back to each other or it might be permanently. So we'll, we'll just have to see. So you guys can let me know what you think. Um, so we'll kind of just keep that in the air for now. He might, I'm probably just gonna have him go ahead and break up with her maybe in the next episode or the one before that, just so he can have a little bit of time to himself. But then maybe we'll figure it out a little bit later. So yeah, okay. Oh, and then Johan's here too, guys. Oh, and then what I was gonna say before is that I, I, I'm not gonna show, th show this to you guys, but I did have Kel or Johan did tell Princess Amira about his relationship. Oh, she's actually like filling it herself. I did not realize that. Um, about his relationship with May, he admitted to it when they were engaged. So I, I, I knew that Amira already knew about it and Amira was fine. She knew, she told them that she knew. She was like, I just suspected like you guys were meant for each other like it's okay they didn't really talk much about their whole arranged marriage situation they discussed it a little bit like they know it's going to happen but i think both of their parents are definitely okay with them like waiting a while for it if they do get married i definitely don't think it's going to be like a wedding ceremony celebration because they i don't think they see it as a celebration i think they see it as like an arrangement so it's probably going to be a private little thing so definitely definitely we'll cover that later but um and then also king Jared, his father, Johan's father, did apologize to Amira and Amira said it was okay, but his father basically told her that like, I'm okay with you being the queen. I think you would lead our country very well. Um, like, I'm just sorry that I overreacted and all that too. So that was definitely nice that they got to do that. So that's kind of what happened with them like off screen. But now we have everyone else here too, guys. So we have like a dance floor over here so we can kind of have people start dancing. We have a ton of food as well. And then we have all of our, oh gosh, who are you? Um, we're gonna make you leave. You're not dressed appropriately for this wedding at all. I don't know why, but I feel like there's like a ton more fans here than usual. Like I've been trying to send away fans like and not recording it, but like this is probably like the sixth fan I've tried to send away. So anyway, okay. Oh, it looks like he just congr- or his father just congratulated him. Prince Louis' father just did. And then we have Princess Anna is here too. So we just gotta make sure we're talking to everyone. I also need to make sure that Lady Corinne is, oh my gosh, what am I trying to do? Um, Just try, get to know. Um, that I need to make sure Lady Corinne is also talking to everybody and introducing herself to everyone. So I'm just trying to see if there's anyone that she like doesn't really know. I'm pretty sure she knows most of the people. Does she know? Oh, she doesn't know Marquis Anna. Okay, well, or, oh my gosh, I keep saying Marquis Anna. It's supposed to be Marchin as Anna and I keep forgetting that. So I need to change that. But God, oh wait, and then King Jared's here too, but he needs, he needs to change. That's definitely a thing that needs to happen. Okay, and then we, oh, you know what guys? Maybe Lady Katarina, who's Lady Helena, maybe she would be good for Lord Wyatt. But I don't think they'll be, she'll, I think she's about the same age as Prince Michael. So they're not going to age up very, very soon, but they will, they will at some point. So that's definitely a thing. Oh, and then Johan's here too. He seems okay. He's still in mourning too. And so is Prince Kellen. Oh, and they need to use the bathroom. I don't know why the cheats when I like use the mailbox thing to kind of like make everyone's cheats go up or needs. Oh no, I just pressed, ah oh, shoot, I, ah, I just wanted to create a sim. I did not mean to do that, hold on. Well guys, now we are back at the Windenburg Palace because, oh wait, Queen Evangeline wasn't there. Oh shoot, okay, well. Yep, now we're back at the uh, Winterberg Royal Palace. I, we didn't really get to finish our wedding. I wanted to have like a cool like reception stuff and all that stuff too. Um, but I mean, everyone's still at the wedding venue, but like the actual wedding event isn't really going on anymore. So while we're at it, I think I'm actually going to, cause I know Prince Francisco is there. So I think I'm going to have him age up while they're all there. So at least we can still like hang out with everyone and then Prince Francisco 
Francisco can also do like, I mean, it's not his birthday party, but he can have his birthday and like blow out the candles at the wedding. So that'll be fine too. So he'll age up into a young adult. You know what? I did not get a chance to cut their cake. I think we're gonna steal their cake and turn it into a birthday cake because I'm not playing from their point of view anymore So they can't cut the wedding cake. So it, just pretend that they did it'll be fine It doesn't make it look like that. We're stealing the bride and groom's wedding cake So we're just going to turn this into a birthday cake because I don't want to have to deal with making another cake So that'll be okay. Okay, so Prince Francisco is now aging up into a young adult So he is going whoa. Yeah, okay, so he's already a young adult. Okay, so Prince Francisco he his aspiration is to have a nerd brain so he's a quick learner he's neat and he's a perfectionist oh gosh he sounds like super ocd to me so he is neat and a perfectionist well he needs to have something like fun or something um neat and perfectionist maybe he's like also really ambitious too let's do something random Oh, okay. Random. Materialistic. I feel like that works. That's okay. I mean, he grew up in royalty. Like, he can- that's totally normal for him to be materialistic. So, cool. Okay. So, Prince Francisco is now a young adult. Probably going to be a while until he proposes to Princess Belle because they, like, not just started dating, but they dated a lot later than, like, Princess Ney and her boyfriend and, uh, who just got married, <laughs> and Prince Louis and Lady Corinne. So I think we're gonna wait just a little bit for him, and then probably not the next episode, but the one after- Oh gosh, oh no, this is Princess Leilana's cousin, who is fast asleep in the middle of the floor, so that's not a good thing. Um, but we are going to have Princess Meghan and Prince Michael age up in- not the next episode but the one after that um also so oh it does look like everybody already left oh wow yeah everyone like just just left and they got out of here i was going to say because maybe princess megan is just the one who's very fed up with prince kellen maybe she would be the one to break up with him and then again maybe they can get back together later but I think we're gonna do that since we're already playing from her point of view and I'm not really planning on focusing on the royal family of Windenburg in the next episode. So why don't we have, well, why don't we just, um, <laughs> we're gonna teleport him here and then I think I'm gonna have her just, we're gonna tell her, t have her tell him that they're gonna take a break. Okay, so Prince Kellen is here. So I definitely, I don't want this to be like a mean thing. Uh, oh, I think she can just ask to be friends. I think I just I just saw that option. I think uh, well Maybe I should ask her or have her ask him to hang out so he doesn't leave Yeah, I would rather her ask just to be friends instead of like being mean and breaking up with him Because I don't want this to be a mean thing. I want it to be like look you're going through a lot I think that we should just take a break for now so hopefully this will be okay. I think he'll take it okay. I mean, he wasn't super into it and I feel like he was going to say the same thing anyway. So, okay, so they have decided to cool off their rom romantic relationship, but they should still be, yeah, they're still really good friends. So it's okay, guys. So they are still good friends. No hard feelings. They're taking a break. So if we decide that they are good for each other later on, then we can have them get back together. If they both find someone else, then that's fine too. But yeah, just wanted to do that. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this royal wedding. I apologize that it was cut short just because of me pressing create a sim on accident. So sorry about that. But hopefully the royal wedding of Oyster Springs will get to be the full, full capacity of what it's supposed to be because I'm so, so excited for that. So so if you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!